Hello Scorpio, this is your December 2018 reading. It will not resonate with all Scorpios, so please keep that in mind. But this is for Scorpio, Full Celtic Cross Comprehensive, December 2018. Scorpio, December 2018, Scorpio. Full Celtic Cross. Hope you're doing well. We'll see what these beginning energies are. Hopefully it's a positive one like it's been last month. Hopefully it continues on in December. Incoming energy. You don't like change. You don't like what's going to change. Or you may be trying to figure out if you need to drop something in your life because you can't juggle so many different things. You may be struggling to work a certain situation that you, that you need just to drop. Or you may think, I don't think I can do this. with, um, Or the people around you don't think they can do this. But we'll see what, it, what it's all about. I'm getting that card a lot. Moving on from troubled waters. Some of you may be moving. Very few of you may be moving. Of course not all of you can be. But it's moving on from troubled times and, and sad times and things that caused you sorrow. Moving on. Like I said, for a, few, for a very few of you, you may actually move, possibly towards water. What's crossing is work. You need more work. You need stable work. Or you may be thinking you're working too hard or that work is not very easy for you with the Eight of Pentacles crossing it. Or are you afraid you trying to move on won't work? Your goal, this is the Prince of Disc in reverse. Your goal may be trying to work or to deal with this person. It could be an energy too, an earth energy, just the energy of, of uh, something you want stable that it hasn't been. But it also could be an actual person an earth sign, could be Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. You also will be working with as the foundation, the Queen of Cups. This could be your energy. could be, you know, like I said, you, or it could be another Scorpio. It could be a Pisces or Cancer. They are in reverse. They feel like um, their emotions are off, that, that they feel um, a little irritable, sometimes depressed. In the past... These cards are adding up a lot like some of the others, and I do shuffle them. And I shuffle them prior and meditate on your sign. But the Emperor is dealing with someone who is possibly controlling, but not in a bad way. But they like to state what they believe. They like to state their thoughts and feelings and they expect you to listen and abide by those thoughts and feelings of what, how they want life to go about. You also can be dealing with an Aries. In your future, you to feel a little off balance over all this with the work. It's not a terrible card, the art card. It's just not feeling yourself. You feel like you're, like I said, your emotions are all over the place. Now I'm going to lay out four more. It's the advice card from the universe, what's coming towards you, the outside environment, same thing, and, and the distant outcome. But i got to clarify these first. I want to find out what the Six of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles crossing it is about. Six of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, why are you there for Scorpio? Because you weren't happy, so now you want to move on. You're working towards that. It's a little difficult, though. Can I get another card? For the Six of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, and the Nine of Cups. Yes, yeah, work collaboration. You're wanting to collaborate. You're wanting to work, but at the same time, you're just not happy right now. Even though you're trying to move on from these troubled waters, you're still feeling a little bit of unhappiness. You feel like you didn't get a wish. The goal is the Prince of Disc in reverse. Why are you there? It's the goal or the what crowns you. 
Why are you there, Prince of Discs, for Scorpio? In reverse is the goal or what crowns them. And you got a lot of people around you. Maybe that's what this Three of Pentacles is. It's usually more, have to do with more, more than um, two people. It's usually three and up, a collaboration. So you also be having communications or looking towards this person. That's a uh, Princess of Swords. Could be Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. So you're dealing with more than one person trying to work, trying to get something done. And you're trying to make things better, but everybody, it feel, I feel like a lot of people are just happy all the way around, unhappy all the way around. Can I get another card for the Prince of Discs, Princess of Swords, as the goal? Why are you there for Scorpio? Because you're wanting positive fortune, good luck, good fortunes to come in. Um... Things to change in your favor with the fortune and the upright. And there's nothing wrong with going for that. So I think you're just trying to turn down, turn around a negative situation in your favor. Now the foundation, you're not feeling it right now. Queen of Cups in reverse. Why are you there for Scorpio? Either you're not feeling it or somebody else isn't feeling it. Ugh. So many people. Queen of Discs could be an earth element or someone taking on an earth sign. Could be Capricorn, Tur Taurus, or Virgo. Both of these people as a foundation are in reverse. So people aren't happy right here as a foundation. And it could be, like I said, something they're trying to work and someone else is telling how the rules are going to go in the past. So I need another card for the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Discs, both in reverse. For Scorpio. Why are you there? Princess of Discs. You're dealing with a lot of people. Okay? Let me go on. Because it's just telling me there's people everywhere. And someone's trying to work at work with everybody. The Emperor. In the past. Why are you there? For Scorpio. You know, taking a stand. Taking a defense. And, and having your way, or someone's having their way. This could be your energy, believe it or not, is someone who crowns himself and saying, i got to take control of this situation because nobody else is, and I just need to make things work again. And, of course, you're suggesting everybody move on to troubled waters, from troubled waters, and collaborate because there's some happiness. There's maybe a little bit of bickering. And you're trying to turn that around so your luck can come your way, good fortune can come your way, and things can move forward again. And in the very near future, next week or so, in December, or the first week I should say, in December, you got the art card. It's in reverse. You're feeling a little unbalanced. You're feeling like, what is going on here? Why can't I just get things together with this? The art card, which is temperance, in reverse. Why are you there for Scorpio in the very near future? Why are they feeling so, you know, like I said, off balance? Because you're wanting to start something new. You want to begin something new. You want to hurry up and get this done. And it's like taking longer than you expected it. You're like, come on now. The art card. The Fool card. Why are you there in the near future for Scorpio? I need one more card. Yeah, it's causing you some anxiety. Here you are. You're trying to move on, get things done, probably juggle. In a few cases, this could be somebody else feeling this way towards you. They feel like you're not working, working with it. But I'm reading this for Scorpio. Can't go back and forth. It would be too confusing. But, uh... Yeah, you're, you're having anxiety trying to start this new beginning and jump into this exciting thing you have going, you're wanting to work on. And everybody else is just not cooperating. They're acting up. Could be that Mercury in retrograde stuff and Venus in retrograde. Well, anyway, let's go to the possible future outcome with the advice the um, universe will give you if you choose to accept it. Completion. Happy in this happy home. Four of Wands. Why are you there for Scorpio? Oops, something wants to come out. Hopes and dreams and wishes. 
It may be a completion. You may get your wish, what you're hoping for. Okay, so I know what the universe is possibly trying to say to you. You can have this happiness. You can have this completion. Don't give hope. Don't give up hope. And turn yourself back around. Make yourself stable. Because things will, may work out if you do. If you're able to sit there and work out what's in your head. And don't let so many people get under your skin. Because of the energies that are occurring. You can have your happiness here. And the things you hoped and wished for. But you're going to have to turn around first. Because you're still not feeling straight. 100% like yourself. For a few of you this may be yourself. Outside environment, what's coming towards you. Uh, someone's feeling stagnation. Someone is maybe waiting and holding back a little bit. Hangman, why are you there? There's the outside environment or what's coming towards Scorpio. Prince of Cups. That could be, again, water sign. Could be you, another Scorpio. Pisces or Cancer. Someone is feeling stagnant. Someone's feeling like things aren't moving fast enough and someone's just not going towards what Scorpio wants. There is stagnation. And it could be, like I said, another water energy um, not moving, just like him hauling around saying, I gotta think, I gotta think. I'm waiting on something. It's like, and also it could be that somebody is waiting on something else to come in. The hangman, Prince of Cups, why are you there? Coming towards Scorpio or the outside environment. Someone's, someone's thinking about whether or not to go forward with you, possibly, because they don't know if they want to be. They, they want to keep their freedom, their options open. You know who this or what this is about. You can put it in your in the comments. But I feel like someone's holding back a little because they just don't know how to take the whole situation. It doesn't mean they'll stay that way. But the whole idea is for you to keep yourself in a stable situation and don't go into anxiety from the things you cannot control. You can control your situation, your own self. And by doing that, you could possibly change your course or go with this course and make it better. Let's find out. Hopes and fears. Yourself or another, like I said, water energy, another Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. This card is in the upright. Maybe you're afraid it's you and you can't, you know, turn back around and get your stability. Or you're hoping, like I said, for this. Prince of Cups, why are you there for Scorpio? As the hopes and fears. Afraid you want good communications. You won't, you're won't. you afraid you'll say the wrong things with the Eight of Wands in reverse. And you're afraid you won't get success. These are fears. you got to come out of that anxiety, Scorpio. Because you're, you're really just too much going on. And I know that you need to take a break and move on. I know you, you want your luck to change. But the universe says you have the ability to do so. It's opening that door if you choose to go through it. If you keep hope alive. You keep going for the direction you're wanting to go. It doesn't matter if everybody's kind of going amok. Okay? But your outcome... You're still not going to make a decision in uh, the first couple weeks of December, that's for sure. The Aeon, the, the final decision card, is in the reverse. You're not decided. You're undecided. Or someone around you is undecided. Why are you there? Why is the final decision not going to be made for Scorpio? Because you're still going to be trying to juggle everything. You're trying to be carried more than you can, than you possibly should. You're not ready to drop the ball on this yet. Whatever's going on, you're not ready to drop the ball. You're still going to go for it. You're going to still go for that new beginning, even if it does make you a little kind of crazy a little bit. Anxiety. 
even if people do dri drive you crazy because you're trying to collaborate and not everybody's working together. You're saying, come on, people. I'm thinking it's a Mercury and retrograde thing. Once that passes, this is nothing. It's just like miscommunications. Can I get another card for the final decision card, Eon, with the two of pentacles next to it? Why are you there for Scorpio? Dealing with the Knight of Swords, I'm thinking you're having, a, like I said, a group collaboration, whether it's work or a project you're doing or family, whatever it is. It's like you're trying to work things to where things will be better, but everybody's going in different directions. And you're still going to try. You're still going to jump into that new thing, even though you're, you're going to, you know, have a little anxiety with it. It makes you feel a little off. The universe is saying, don't give up hope. Do you uh, get that completion you want, that happiness that, that you want in your own home, in your own life? But you're going to have to turn that around, even because you're still turned around. I mean, it still may happen if you keep hope. But don't let it, this get to you, is what it's saying. Even though things are stagnant, people are coming towards you, not moving too much, because they haven't made decisions themselves. And it may, again, make you feel off. You have that fear of that, that you won't have this, you know, thing you want, this communications, this outgoing type success. So you're going to wait before you make a decision and keep on working on this. You're also possibly dealing with the Knight of Swords. As someone could be taking on an energy where they dig in and really take control and, um, don't let anybody stand in their way. The Knight of Swords does not. It also could be an air sign. Like I said, you got a lot of people around you. It could be Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. You're in the upright. So I think you're going to still keep on working on whatever you're trying to work on. Can I get another card? One more card. The Aeon, the Two of Pentacles, and the Knight of Swords. Yeah, so you ships can come in. You're thinking, I'm going to still work on this because I think it's worth the wait. you got the love there. So the inner energy is a positive um, love situation. It's the Two of Cups. It's the coming together in a way of collaboration. And someone, people could become more friendly uh, with each other and seeing the positive the positives in each other. Starting to lose my, my speaking voice because I've been talking all day. But I think it's going to work out. I think you're going to show kindness in the end. You're going to show strength in the end. Virtue. Because like I said, you're not going to make a final decision on quitting this just yet. You're going to keep on going and hoping things get better. And they may with the three of wands there. Because that's what you're hoping for, things to get better. Because you want this collaboration, you want this. Or the person, sometimes this is the person around you wanting this, all this. And I could be picking up on their energy. But I don't see it as a bad situation. I just see it as those energies kind of little crazy and you're trying to work with them. And it looks like you're going to keep on trying. And this is for the first couple of weeks again, like I said, in uh, December. And I will be back before the middle of December and give you another reading, Scorpio. This is it. I'll talk to you later. Bye.